so here we are again and you have seen that I whipped a galley because there's a barbarian galley coming here to uh, take my fishing boats and I don't want that to happen uh, so what was first to music and something funny happened because India because Gali wasn't going to be first anymore he stopped one turn away and we can see here he doesn't actually have music but he's only one turn away from it so of course he won't trade it for anything anyway I'm not trading music yet especially not to Caesar because he's industrious and he has marble so he could um, get the system shovel before I do so that's not going to happen I'm not going to trade anything for the time being I cannot get anything good I don't need horseback riding so I cannot get anything good for literature also it's more expensive so anyway she doesn't have um, any money to <laughs> sorry she doesn't have any money to give me for literature because I don't have currency yet and she doesn't have currency either these guys have currency um, but yeah I cannot get it in a trade he won't give it to me and Gandhi I don't have anything to give him so Gandhi is taking quite fast in my opinion so that's something I need to consider uh, if I want to win the liberalism race, I will, get, I will get currency and then I will I will go for liberalism as soon as possible. And I need to chop the Sistine Chapel as soon as possible as well. And I do need the lighthouse, but I think I'm going to go for National Epic first. Um, yeah, we have marble, which is also good for this one. And maybe I will chop it here. I don't know about this one. I think this one goes to Timbuktu, so probably here. And that's all I can chop for Kumbi Saleh, but I will have to do it. I have to give it a shot. So let's chop this stuff for the Sistine Chapel. We are getting as many hammers as we can get, except for this one here. And uh, maybe. Yeah, we are not getting this one with Timbuk 2 at this point. So maybe we can get it with the end, but I don't know if I'm going to have enough food to do that. Okay, 17 turns, going in 5, that's fine. Okay, this guy has almost no hammers right now, but that's fine, I can afford it. I could get these hammers eventually if I need them, which is going to happen. Okay, let's see what happens with this barbarian. Uh, yeah. I cannot afford to attack because the galleys are better for defense. I want the barbarian to attack me. And with the coastal bonus I should be able to win that battle. Caesar has a golden age. Okay, it's fine, nobody has music. I'm thinking about turning it to Saladin because he's, he's very unlikely to get this in chapel, but he doesn't have anything that I really want. If he had Code of Loss, I would be happy to get Code of Loss, but I cannot get it. So, let's do this. It would also be great if Saladin or maybe even Caesar, Caesar has a ridiculous amount of cities. It would be awesome if he went to war against Gandhi because Gandhi is taking very fast. And Caesar is also taking at a good rhythm. So, I need those guys to not beat me in the liberalism race in a cultural victory is even more important than usual to get the liberalism or to win the liberalism race so let's see what happens oh come on seriously well that was very annoying I cannot even get another one fast enough I don't really want to do that, but I have no choice. Otherwise, um, yeah, I'm going to lose all of my all of my food. All right. Well, what are you gonna do? I want to get my main religion in the end as soon as possible. Actually, I'm going to whip this guy because 
if I get organized religion here in the end, that gives me more production, which means that this chopping thing will give me more hammers. So I'm going to actually wait to finish the chopping. Okay. As you can see, the, this version of the bug mode um, allows me to oh, currency two times. Okay, that's good. It stops my workers one turn away from chopping automatically for um, for pre-chopping, which is very useful. Yeah. Caesar is only cautious with me, which I'm not very happy about. But um, I really can't seem to get it any better. No, I'm not giving you music. I'm definitely not giving you music. I want to get the system trouble first. Okay. Oh, come on! That was rubbish. I had 70%. You load of crap. Okay, now the. I'm, I'm being very, very, very unlucky with the. With the RNG here, like ridiculously unlucky. Um, I should have won this one already because you have more than 60% on defense with the galley if you're on the coast against another galley, of course. And now I had more than 70%, but apparently that wasn't enough. The game really, really wanted to screw me. So, you know, if the game wants to screw you, it will screw you. Nothing you can do about that. And this is very, very, very annoying because I will have to waste. A lot of turns building fishing boats, which I don't need. I really don't need that stuff. Okay, let's do this. Okay, this city is doing alright, the library is coming. And uh, what do we want? We want to bring this religion everywhere as well. And we want temples. Yeah, we want the stuff. And we want a granary, I guess, eventually. Okay, we already have this religion in the end, which is good, it gives me happiness as well. And I have the 25%, so let's do this, and this, and this, and, okay, let's turn on to that. Everything is worth what its purchaser will pay for it. Okay, so, um, what is the fastest way? to liberalism according to the game. The game says get theology, which is rubbish of course. And philosophy first, which I'm going to do. To the philosophy I need drama. But if I get civil service I might be able to trade it for philosophy, maybe. Or even get philosophy with a great scientist actually. Yeah, get code of laws and then philosophy with a great scientist. And then this stuff, and then this stuff, and then this stuff. Okay, let's try to do that. Let's see what happens. Timbuktu, uh, great artist. Yeah, that's not good. Um, yeah, then we have to do this, apparently. We have to keep, keep killing people to get rid of this. Lonely Barbarian Galley. That's very, 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 very annoying. I'm very pissed off about this Barbarian Galley. And uh, bad luck with the RNG that made me lose a lot of turns and I lose the game just because of that, because this is a Diddy game and you can't afford to lose turns. So I'm very pissed off. But the thing is you cannot get three rems until you get metal casting and metal casting is not the technology path to win a peaceful game on Diddy, so I can afford to do it. Uh, so I will have to deal with this shit. Uh, we've got the money from Mausolos, that's good. this. And I'll go here because we need to chop the national epic. Okay. And uh, what can I do with this guy? This city seems to be doing okay already. 
so do we have all the cottages we can get here one two three four five okay we're going to come here and have build new cottage yep he got all of my fishing all of my fishing boats all of them each and every one of them I got them killed. Hey, look at that, I want to fight. What a bloody miracle. Bloody piece of fucking shit. Let's redo this like that and then we'll see what we do. Oh man, I'm so pissed off. I can't believe I lost that second fight here. The first one was already unlucky, but the second one was pure bullshit. Oh man. Let's keep cutting in this land. This. It's in chapel in four. Let's do this. It's in chapel in two. Still cannot get it though. Yeah, we have to wait those two turns. But I can trade stuff, so Gandhi has music. I don't have a monopoly on music anymore. I can get metal casting. I guess I'm going to need it, apparently. I have to build three ramps everywhere. Because, yeah, nobody will give me code of loss, of course. Okay, let's, let's get metal casting, which apparently is a necessity in this game. Yeah. And them that take the sword I'm shall so perish by the sword. This. So pissed off about this. Okay, what can I get from this idiot? Uh, construction, I guess. What if I got a one bridge building and 20 gold? Okay, let me wait one turn. Maybe he has more gold to give me. India is going for machinery. I'm perfectly fine with that. Oh no, he has zero now. Okay, that's rubbish. Okay. Is she going to trade it with him? Probably, but uh, I guess I'll have to wait and see. Because it would be absurd to do that trade for no money. Let's cottage this stuff and get the national epic a bit faster. Hinduism here. Okay, let's get this guy in here. Oh, I turned this off. I didn't realize I had turned that off. Sorry about that. So, um... Cottage here, I guess. I don't have to chop anything in Gao. I don't think I do. And what will this guy get? Okay, let's say I want to forget about this guy and get a tree ram instead. I have first Jewish temple. Okay, then let's do another temple instead. And uh, this guy. Okay. Let's do that. Let's chop that missionary so we get it immediately. Wait, scientist in three. That's fine. Does anyone have philosophy? I don't know. To bring about the rule of righteousness in the not land, yet. so that the strong should not harm the weak. But it will happen very soon. The moment I get the national epic, to be honest, I'm going to put that. Or the moment I get the second great scientist, I don't need more than two. And we got 16 chapel, that's good. Okay, so in that aspect this game is not being very annoying, in the aspect of wonders and so on. So tech situation, who has philosophy? She has philosophy. No one else has philosophy. And apparently no one has code of loss. That's very interesting and also unexpected. And this guy has a lot of money. 
So um, what can I get with construction? Well, elephant and catapult, which I don't really need. I could ask for more money instead. Oh, but construction is quite nice. Bridge building is fine. Um, okay, let's do this. I have the system chart. On the pedestal, so these words appear. I don't care about my name is Ozymandias, King of Kings. Look on my works, ye mighty, and despair. I could get drama for Code of Laws. That could be interesting. Ooh, I'm not sure about that. Okay, we are going to do it because I have. Yeah, I'm going to need drama eventually, so. I guess I can do this now. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. Okay, so that money that Augustus has might be failed gold from something. I don't know what. He's only cautious with me, and I'm really not being able to get anything else. Years of peace or open borders. I'm not, I'm providing him with resources. He should be happy about that. I gave him horses, so that should be important to him, but apparently it isn't. I'm not very happy about that. I can get silk, which I don't need. Iron, which I don't need either. And fish or money actually you give me money also don't attack me please okay how about 10 10 okay that's good I'm on my way to civil service and I can use this great scientist in two turns to get um, philosophy. So let's go here to start rebuilding all of the stuff. Forget it. And uh, We can do this to get the Jewish missionary a little bit faster. The city has whipped a lot of galleys, so that's why it has almost no population. I don't need all of the hammers in the end now anymore. We can start doing something like this, for example. That should be fine. And this guy. Because before the lighthouse, I'm actually going to do a workbook, but I'm going to leave that for later. Okay, so if I get philosophy, I can trade it to three guys, which is quite all right. I'm probably not going to trade it to Gandhi, though. Can I get this? Mm. 30 gold isn't much. I would like to sell something to Saladin, but he doesn't have a lot of money. Machinery, guild printing press, printing press, I'm probably not going to get printing press, although it's nice to get it. Horseback riding is irrelevant for me, feudalism. Horseback riding also doesn't actually lead to anything. Okay, let's wait, let's wait over there. Um, let's mine this stuff. Probably not going to need it, but just in case. Mm -hmm. More hammers for the National Epic, it's fine. National Epic in 12, grow in 11. And hopefully I'll be able to grow a little bit faster once I get those workboats again. How many turns for a workboat? One. Yeah, let's do this. I need that stuff. Okay, 
and now this guy has all the cottages he can get oh look at this okay let's do this this guy will actually go over there philosophy yep let's get philosophy that should help us within the liberalism race i have gained this by philosophy that i do without being commanded okay. what others do only from fear of the law i'm not going to change the pacifism yet i will eventually but not yet i still have the um, national epic to build so this is going to be this no okay we need those fishing boats up and running again yeah okay so what are we going to do with this worker I can chop something, but we are not doing anything expensive. I will chop this for um, for a cathedral, probably for a um, Jewish synagogue or a Hindu mandir or one of those. Okay, we have another temple. Production with stone. Production with stone. Okay, I don't have stone. And apparently I cannot do Hindu Mandir yet for some reason. So in the meantime I guess I can get a theater. I'm not happy about Rome uh, being cautious with me. Caesar could attack me anyway. And I really can't afford to build um, uh, to build uh, an army. So that's very dangerous. I'm getting a third work boat here. So this. I need to get to that point in which I have plus one for giving him resources. And maybe with that. No, I'm not giving you philosophy. Are you crazy? There's absolutely no way. Apostolic uh, Palace. Okay, yeah, Gandhi, why not? Whatever. That's going to give me a positive thing with him. And Gandhi's going for civil service too. I'm definitely not giving him philosophy. And uh, he has a very nice amounts of money. What if I sell you drama for all of this money? No? 195, that's pretty good, let's do it. Okay, so that will give me a lot of turns for developing my technology. Okay, let's do this. Growing in two. And I'm not getting any hammers. I will get hammers with the next population point. Okay, let's get this. Growing in two, that's fine. Also, I will be able to afford another growth very soon. What if I do this? Growing in four. Still good. Still good. Okay. 410 AD. So, according to the guide to. The bureaucracy is expanding. To meet the Sorry, I'm going to explain that later. Okay, I still cannot build here a cathedral. I need another temple to do that. Um, do I want to get failed gold or do I want to build a monastery? I'm going to build a monastery. Gives me some extra science, so that's always nice. But I'm definitely building a temple here so that guy can start building a Hindu Mandir soon. Okay. Ah. 
this guy will go here. And I guess I can do a cottage over there. And I guess eventually I'm going to use a cottage over here. Is there anything else I can do? I don't need to preach up anything because I'm not going to need any more wonders. So that's quite alright. Okay, I'm still not getting any pressure on Roman land except here and here. So yeah, it's going to happen soon. But not yet. Okay, so civil service, I cannot trade it with him and he has philosophy somehow. Probably he traded with Hattie or something. Or he had a great mm, scientist or something like that. Okay, well he doesn't have paper. If I get theology, I will have paper earlier. So that is something to consider. Okay, you... You, if I give you this, will you give me theology? Yes, you will. Okay, let's do this because theology two cities have been formed is also by two required lovers. for paper, so the if you get the it, self, you can the get paper a bit earlier. I think I just won one turn. I'm not sure. I, well, I wasn't checking before, but anyway, if I don't win one turn there, at least I'm going to get a few extra beakers later on. So it's still all right. And anyway, I think Augustus was going to get philosophy from one of these guys very soon. Probably from Hattie, because they have the same religion, so they should be friends. Still cautious with me. Oh, trade relations. Now that gives me another plus one. Yeah, but... Ideally, you want... It's good to have only one neighbor. That's very good, actually. But you want your only neighbor to be a religious freak, so you can get his religion and that's that's it, basically, that solves the game. Now with Caesar here, I, I don't, it's not easy to get him above cautious, and he could attack me anytime, because he's, he's it's not a warmonger, but he's not a peacemonger either, he's an average leader, let's say. Okay, let's keep continuing all the land around the city. Mm -hmm. Let's get the silk. Okay, that was nice. This guy is going soon. He's getting some hammers. I could get these hammers instead. So, I'm decide I can get these hammers. Hopefully. Yeah. National Epic in 7. That's fine. Okay, so everybody's Jewish now. Okay, we have food again here, let's do this, this guy doesn't really need to grow cottages anyway, this is not the city for that, um, okay, I don't have much more to do right now, but I can start bringing this guy here because the end is going to start building a Hindu Mandir very soon, so I can chop it. This guy got philosophy apparently. Caesar still doesn't have code of laws. If he starts getting money again, I could sell it to him. Not yet, but maybe, maybe later. Let's see what happens. Or maybe not. I don't know if I will have enough money to do it. I mean, if, if he will not have code of laws for so long. Okay, so what is this? I have silk now. Can I sell it? I can sell clam to Hati. So if I give her clam, will he give me money? Yes. That's pretty good. And I still have two. I could sell one to Caesar. Maybe with all of this trade, I'm actually stopping him from attacking me. I don't know. There is no real modifier, but eventually there is a modifier that says, you know, we 
appreciate the years you supplied with us with resources or something like that. But it should appear already, to be honest. That plus one should appear here. Is he angry with something? Where are you? Plus one, plus four, no. He's not angry with anyone, unfortunately. He's actually pleased with everybody. So if he goes to war with someone, it's going to be me and I'm going to lose the game. That's a real shame. Saladin is very pissed off with Gandhi. That's interesting. If there was a war there, can I, can I bribe this guy to go to war with someone? No, I cannot. That's annoying. Certainly not Gandhi. How about Egypt? No, I don't have anything to give her. Because if Egypt goes to war, maybe she could bribe Caesar into going to war as well. Mm. I don't know. Okay, the situation is quite delicate right now. But I cannot do anything about it. I just have to keep playing. was a bit unlucky to have Rome as my neighbor. Really, you want Egypt as your neighbor? I cannot live without books. And if you cannot get Egypt, I'm going to be let's rerun because I don't want to lose all of my war boats again. <laughs> if you cannot get Egypt, uh, Gandhi or, or Arabia are better than Rome. So, yeah, I don't know how this is going to go. I need to be a little bit lucky if I don't want to get attacked. Okay. And we are growing. So slowly getting there. So. I got a Jewish monastery, that's pretty good. Sankor, obviously not. I'm going to make a Hindu Mandir here. And I'm going to chop it. <coughs> National Epic, four turns. Okay. Could have been much earlier. It should have been much earlier than this. But I got busy fighting barbarians and rebuilding my sh fishing boats. So. That was an unnecessary delay. That's the bad thing about having fish resources. But you have to deal with barbarians all the time. Oh, this guy is going for nationalism already. He doesn't have paper though. Okay. I'm going to be selling Court of Lost to Rome very soon because everybody has it. So, yeah, 20 gold maybe not, but. Maybe I can get something better than that. I have 100% ammo in only 4 gold per turn, that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm starting to work the cottages while I build my Hindu Mandir. That is perfectly fine. I would like to get this forest while it's useful. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Now it's building a tree ram. What are we going to build here? We're going to build a granary. Um, Jewish temple. Yeah. Okay, I guess I can chop that stuff. Mm -hmm. I can get rid of this jungle because Kumisal is already having health problems. I'm going to get this fish also to avoid the health problems um, with this guy, of course. We're going to get all this fish. Anyway, we have two fishes, so that's one more health resource that we can use. Still, we have the monopoly on paper, so education eight turns. That's nice. Caesar has 40 gold. If he reaches 60 gold, I think I'm going to 
Let's connect all of our cities. That's unnecessary, but I don't have anything better to do. Okay, the tree rim will wait over here. And so the galley will wait over there. Okay. Let's chop this for the end. Yeah, Hindu is coming in four. That's awesome. Um, the moment I get the National Epic, I will swap to Pacifism. India is going for Constitution, that's good for me. Because it doesn't help India to get to liberalism. Okay, 70 gold, good enough. And the warm up, that's interesting. Okay. Oh look, he's pleased with me now. Uh, I got one more from Faith. Open borders plus two now. Now he appreciates finally the years I supply with resources. That's good. Okay, he's not happy at all about the closed borders. But uh, apart from that, we are doing fine. Arabia is plotting. Arabia is very far away from me, so they should be plotting ideally against Gandhi or even Egypt or even Rome. Yeah, it's not easy for them to get to me. Egypt is friendly. Can I beg something from them? Hati, can you give me something nice? Like, um, yeah, horseback riding is useless. So. One gold per turn. Thank God that's yeah, that's not great. Oh this guy is pleased. I can also beg him for something. How about this? No. Okay. How about ten? Ah there you go. That's pretty cool. How about this guy? There you go. Okay. So things are looking better now that he's pleased with me. And uh, yeah. Close borders. So that's a problem. That's always going to be a problem. Uh, and I'm going to get even more borders next to him because I'm going to expand a lot with culture. But um, still we're doing all right. Maybe with time we can get up to plus four with the faith situation. Okay, National Epic, uh, one turn. How many hammers we need? Five hammers. We're getting 13. So I can do the revolution already. Oh. Bureaucracy, I forgot about bureaucracy. Oh, that was foolish. I should have swapped to bureaucracy the moment I got um, civil service. That was dumb, that was a big mistake. Well, let's hope I can still win the game. Yeah, I still have the monopoly on paper. And uh, Gandhi's not going for education right now, so that's good news. Let's go over here. I think I should be able to do something like a synagogue or something like that in Timbuktu. Paper for horseback riding is not happening, not at all. Very well. Okay. Now great art is in five turns. Now that's what we're talking about, my friend. That's what I'm talking about. Lighthouse, Jewish temple. Yeah, all of that stuff needs to happen. And this guy will do a Hindu missionary. Oh crap, I cannot do a Hindu missionary now. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. does this guy have a... Jewish monastery. Oh, I didn't realize that was happening. I need a Hindu missionary to get it. Oh, that was dumb. Okay. Well. 
that's fine. I'm sure I can fix it somehow. Okay. Jewish temple, workload, and then we can do monastery, or we can do monastery right now. Jewish temple later, workload later. Hmm. No, 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 no. Jewish temple first, Hindu monastery later, and then a Hindu missionary. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Not how this is going to play. Or here, because if I do the synagogue, the first synagogue, if I do it here, right? I cannot do another one here at the same time, can I? No, I cannot. Okay. So then we'll do that. Then we'll do the workload. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Sixteen and table two, that's fine. My house and Jewish temple. Maybe I should have done the Jewish temple uh, earlier. Well, not maybe, definitely I should have done that. But what can we do? What can we do? Sri Ram can wait here. Looks like a fine spot. Education in three. Apparently Gandhi has paper already somehow. And so does Hattie. That's kind of annoying. Okay. We all have the same stuff. Okay. So this is not happening. I'm going to do this instead. Need to grow that cottage, and we can do another cottage here actually. Okay, it's going five. Okay, that's all right. Okay, we're getting a work boat. Could get one more three ram just in case. So we go here and we have another. Okay. This because why not? Family has proven the world this round. Good for him. He doesn't have education though. Okay, so I guess I can cottage this spot, although I don't think I'm ever going to use it. And I can help this guy to remove this jungle as well. Okay, let's hurry this synagogue. Location one turn. No. No. I will wait one turn until you have money and then I will ask you for your money. Because I don't need your warm up, Hattie. I don't need it at all. It's not necessary for me. Rabia, it would be amazing if you declare war on Gandhi because that guy is doing quite alright. Oh, Arabi has paper. What can I get for this? Horseback riding, warm up, blah blah blah. 
Okay, I guess that's better than nothing. 100 gold, that's pretty good. If you speak the truth, have a foot in the stirrup. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. This is fine. I don't think I can get, I can work a cottage here. I don't have enough food, I think. But I'm going to keep working the land because you have to do something with all of these workers. Okay, so uh, this barbarian is dead already. Where were you, Caesar, when this barbarian got my four fishes? Where were you? You didn't help me with that. Okay. There is no wealth like knowledge, no poverty uh, like to ignorance. Run, just in case, that's fine. Monastery, theater, lighthouse. Let's get a lighthouse. This guy is not going to be legendary anyway. So, synagogue needs another one of these guys. Okay. Jewish temple is coming, so I'm going to get the synagogue soon. Okay, let's do this. Let's get some fish. How's the health situation now? Not excellent. Um, resources I have seen they won't give me any health resources they don't have anything that I don't have apparently so that's not very good um, mm -hmm. okay doesn't look like I can do anything useful now right yeah oh wait cottage here that's useful okay so we'll have uh, yeah one to run here in the north another one here in the south and that's going to be enough I could trade fish if I get another workboat that's interesting okay this guy will wait mm -hmm. all right no one has education I don't know what's Gandhi going for Apparently, he has too many espionage points, I guess. And I didn't build any cool houses, so I'm not producing any espionage points. Okay, so let's go here. Let's get this guy. Let's do this. Okay. Someone built Taj Mahal. Gandhi, so he has a golden age now. I really want Saladin to declare war on him. Oh, whoa, 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 what? Whoa, 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 that's very bad. That's so, so bad. That's so very, very bad. Oh, my God. I'm not happy with that. Uh, can I get an aqueduct here? Aqueduct or or theater? That's the question. I'm going to go with aqueduct. Um. Anyway, the moment I get Hinduism, I'm going to do the Hindu temple, of course. Uh -huh. Synagogue. Oh, this is so bad. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, this is looking very, very bad. I have three turns. There is absolutely no way I can rush that more than three turns. I mean, I already have one guy here. If I do this, I'm going to be getting another great scientist. I cannot afford to do that. Oh well, oh well, oh well. What is this guy doing? Cutting all of the food and working the cottages, that's good. This delays my synagogue. And I need to do a Hindu Mandir later, so I'm not going to do that. Okay. I guess I will automatize one of these guys because they don't have a lot to do anymore. Uh, 
160 AD. Yeah, it's quite late for liberalism on Didi. Yeah. It's, well, not, not too late, but it's, mm, it's far from perfect, let's say. Okay, no, here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. They have education. This is very bad. Okay. I'm still on the game. And I have to start trading this stuff. You, what will you give me? Before someone gives you the stuff. Feudalism, compass, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, whatever. Let's do this. I will to my lord be true and faithful and love all which he loves, follow down all direction. which he shuns. Machinery and 200, yeah, let's do this. Yeah. Okay. A god from the machine. So I'm getting all the gold I can get before it's too late. Uh, those guys are not going to get liberalism before Gandhi anyway. So the risk is already in the moment Gandhi got the education. Um, so I'm not changing that. And instead I'm trying to get as much gold as I can. Okay, okay, okay. Are we in? Are we in? Looks like we are in. Looks like we are in. Okay, this guy will be doing wealth, but first he can get more trade routes. Uh, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, you have to be shitting me. You have to be shitting me. One fucking turn. I can fucking believe this. Nine hundred AD, yeah, yeah. It never reaches one thousand AD if, if you are in a peaceful game. The whole the whole idea of this setup was creating a war, but it didn't happen. Saladin has been potent forever, but uh, he didn't he didn't uh, declare on anyone, and, uh, and so this this whole setup didn't didn't work. It didn't do what it's supposed to do. So I'm almost certainly not going to win this game, but well, it still could actually. Uh, still have a small chance. The thing is now I have to self-tech after liberalism. I have to self-tech nationalism. Oh my god! I needed to get nationalism with that so I could do the Hermitage. Oh, this is not good, not good at all. Okay, let's just do a cottage here, I guess. Who cares anymore? Oh, well. guy should not be working mines anymore he should be getting food any society that would give up a little liberty to gain a little security will deserve neither and lose both let's do this and that's it I need nationalism that's the only reason why I'm still taking stuff so I'm very very pissed off. Now I'm have to trade. Oh wait 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 wait. Huh? That's a ridiculous amount of money. Hmm. How about you? I oh, know you have. You are the. A piece of crap that's told me that. How about this? Nothing? I didn't get anything for the warm up? Five gold? Okay, better than nothing, I guess. Okay, let's do this. Yeah. A man does not have himself killed for a half pence a day or for a petty distinction. 
You must speak to the soul in order to electrify Okay, let's get some money and then we are going to move the culture slider to 100. Or let's start with the culture sliding 100 already. So, situation now. Right now. Eight, uh, 156, 155, 108. That is terrible. That this for the two cottage cities this is very bad. So yeah. We are not up to a good start. Synagogue. Seven turns. We need a Hindu Mandir later on. Okay. Can I get any health? Yes, I can. So we are going to get it. Okay. What's the health situation now? Mm, okay. Not so awful. Okay. Let's uh, yeah, do that. So... I cannot say anything else, can I? Silk, silk, but he only has sugar. Okay, if he gets any money, I can trade the silk. Optics and engineering. So, yeah, give me your money. The designer knows he has achieved perfection, not when there is nothing left to add, but when there is nothing left to take away. Okay, so no more Tekken. It's really a shame that I had to pay those 600 gold. That would have been so nice right now. He has a sweet amount of money but won't trade anything. Ah, he already feels I'm becoming too advanced. So... That's about it. Let's give him liberalism. Yeah, we got some extra money there. Yeah, I don't need to build anything else with this guy. So I never got this stone for the Jewish synagogue. That's a shame, but at least I got marble. Oh, I can get another fish, yeah. And maybe I can get some money from it, so I'm going to get it. Uh-huh. Oh, this is fine. Train network, borders of Gao have expanded. Another great artist. Hindu temple one turn. Okay, Rome is still pleased with me, so it should be alright. Hindu Mandir, double production with marble. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this instead. And so we have three guys working this. How about now? I have four guys here growing in 13 turns. If we do this, we are shrinking. Shrinking in 14, but we have health issues anyway. So we're going to get one great artist in five turns and then we shall see what we do with the food situation. Okay, so the synagogues are coming and then I'm going to build here the her hermitage and that's going to be it. Uh, um, 15 turns that will give me more gold, but uh, no. 
I will just start getting gold immediately. This guy could actually get a forge. Which gives me more gold. Because I don't care if this guy doesn't have any health. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And then I will just leave him doing gold until the end of the game. Okay, tech situation, I can get 120 gold here, or optics. Maybe I can get something else later on. Let's see. 160. Okay, let's get 160 before he gets nationalism from someone. Yeah, and he's friendly now. How cool is that? How cool is that? There you go. These guys are not plotting anymore. So... Apparently there's not going to be any war in this game. No, shut up. Declare war to Egypt and maybe we get something 40 gold. I'm not going to sell nationalism for only 40 gold. It's completely unnecessary. Another great artist. Okay. So, in theory, by this point I should have already calculated what is my winning date. Um, but I don't usually do that. And we have to create like a spreadsheet, usually calculating, you know, how much is, are your towns going to grow, and so how much culture are you going to get based on that. How many turns I have left also for the Hindu Mandir and the Hermitage and all that stuff. Um, Hermitage in the capital, of course. Always put it in the city that has the biggest culture production. So Timbuktu. Timbuktu will get there in 81 turns. The end in Kumbi Saleh have to get one more, one more spot first. And uh, Gandhi is still above 100 in all of his cities. Uh, that's uh, okay. Okay. Okay, I have the Jewish synagogue here, and uh, I don't need to to build anything else. So, the end is getting there in 94 turns. It's pretty good. Kumbi Salem needs to do something else. Okay, let's, let's, let's rush this because obviously I'm going to. I think I'm going to use almost all of my great artists in Kumbi Salem. Creating great works for the victory. And now the borders have expanded, and now I can check it out. So, 1894 and 154. That's like a lot. So, so one more. So basically, that's how it works. You get uh, 134. Yeah, we're slowly getting there. So you get. Um, Mm, Shingen 8, Great Artisan 7, that's worth it, let's do it. Um, yeah, you get two cities with cottages, and you build the cathedrals in those two cities. That's a bloody privateer, a pirate privateer, a privateer, like, a barbarian privateer. <laughs> I can't believe this crap. Oh, I lost the chance of selling nationalism to this guy. It was pretty bad. I wasn't paying attention. I can believe there is a barbarian privateer. 
I mean, if this guy gets to my land, and he, he did it, he got to my land, I cannot leave this crap. I have absolutely no chance against him, nor and, and I cannot make any... I, this is the first time I played this game for years, for many, many years. This is the first time ever that I see a barbarian privateer. Ever. In years of playing Civilization 4. This is ridiculous. This is completely ridiculous. Wow, I cannot believe this stuff. Wow. What a the barbarians are really messing with my game. Am I going to lose this game because of barbarians? I might. If if he pillages this stuff and apparently he will. Wow. That's amazing. Barbarian privateer on 1180. Oh, now, now you declare war. How useful. You should have done that before I lost the liberalism race, you idiot. My god. How the hell am I going to deal with this stuff? If he stays here, I'm fuck. I'm screwed. I cannot get any more great artists. And I'm screwed. That's it. I'm, I'm, I'm losing the game. Wow. That is just amazing. Okay, stagnant with five guys, that's good. Okay, somehow he left. So I think either he left over here or over here to the ocean. Or, uh, ah, no, wait, it's not a barbarian privateer. It's, it's, it's one of these guys. Because the privateers always appear as barbarians. That's yeah, I completely forgot about that. It's been so long since I play against privateers. Because they never do them. They always do frigates instead when they get to chemistry. Yeah, I forgot that was that was the situation. Yeah. Okay, that's fine then. Let's uh, move this guy over there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, the warrior, the Saladin, fishing boats. Okay, so 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 so. I have three. I have one. Okay, you give me your money. Okay, how about seven then? How about seven? There you go. Okay. You? Yeah, that's cool. Everybody else has fish, apparently. Yeah. Okay. So I'm getting some money. That's fine. Plus 12 per turn because I almost have no army. So that's good. That lets me keep this stuff at 100% indefinitely. Okay, I completely forgot about the privateers and their mechanic and that they always appear as barbarians. I had completely forgotten about that. Uh, yeah, wow. Yeah. Yeah, because you always go to frigates directly. If, if, when they get chemistry, they, they build frigates. Yeah. That's it. Because figures are more powerful. Um, privateers are not very good in this game. So the N76, Timbuktu 60. Okay, we have a, a nice amount of, uh, of culture now. More than 300 in the capital, 274 in the end. Uh, the capital is going to get there actually earlier than 60 turns. Another great artist in 80. Okay, so we have another guy here. I'm going to move this guy over there because I think I'm going to use one great artist in the end eventually and every other great artist is going to be used here. Uh, Timbuktu will build the Hermitage and, and that's it. Although Kumbisale, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not building the harbor. 
screw the hardware yeah let's build culture so then how are we doing now 81 times cool that's good it's going to be less than 60 because the hermitage is going to give me a lot so how are we doing in terms of hammers we could be getting more so let's get more let's get the hermitage earlier and uh, this guy is fine another great artist in turns that's all right let's wait here for pirates okay uh what's to see sir still uh please with me so i'm fine with that can we get like a defensive pact or something no we cannot okay had to declare war on Saladin so Saladin is going to get his ass kicked I guess okay now we just need to wait okay Gandhi and Saladin have the stuff I don't want it Okay, am I getting any extra resources from Rome? Uh -huh. Not yet. This guy is 50% Malinese already, so I'm going to get this city for sure. Banana. 100% Roman. But I might get it eventually before I win. That's good because I need health. But yeah, it's probably going to come too late anyway. Okay, so, good, 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 good. Gandhi is still above 100 turns, and he's second apparently after me, so this is looking nice, this is looking nice. Even though I lost the liberalism race, it looks like I might win the game after all. I wasn't very optimistic about this game, to be honest. I thought I was going to get my ass kicked, but I didn't. Okay, so yeah, 40 turns for Timbuktu, 74 Kumbi Saleh, do I have a great artist here? No, not right now. Okay, 314 gold, <laughs> yeah, right, like I'm going to be your ally. You are crazy, my friend, completely crazy. Oh, come on, do you give me some money? Oh, well. Uh huh, still a great work. Kumbi Saleh, how are you doing? Did you already get ahead of the end? Yes. 5460. Uh huh, we are getting someone in Timbuktu. That's not good. That is not good. No, man, don't do this. Don't do this. Do that instead. Okay. Let's actually lose this. Let's get that. And then Kumbi Soleil is going to get one guy. And if we do this, we are stagnant. 10 turns. Okay, that's fine. I can have 14 turns. Okay, so this guy will do another great work here in the end. I think that's the only guy I'm going to use in the end. Because now the end is only 51 turns. Well, that wasn't such a huge improvement, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, 50 turns away, 51. And as you can see, I'm producing 300 culture here in the end, 151 in Kumisale. The two guys with a lot of stuff have more than 300, the capital with the Hermitage has more than 400. How about the city? 56% Malinese. That's pretty good. The Romans have never gone to war with anyone. They have 14 cities, they're pretty big. Fair enough. Fair enough. Ok, 
Okay, Caesar is not plotting against anyone. Will you give me some money? No. Okay, I need to wait a little bit more actually to get that again. Mm -hmm. This city is 49% Malinese. Yeah. Arpium is 62% Marinese. I might get like two cities from him. Arpium and Setia. Let's see what happens. We have like 50 turns left, but... No. Okay, at some point they will start giving me technologies because I'm going to be so far behind that they would give me something for free. At least they used to do it a couple of times that I won in this way before. Uh, but look at that. I got free gems. So that's interesting. Can we sell them? She has four gold. Mm -hmm. No health, no health. Ooh, this guy has... Okay, wait. Let's cancel the marble. I don't need it anymore. And you can give me corn. Yeah. Cool. Health situation, not too bad. And she will give me four gold per turn for my fish. How about that? And yeah, I can get something more than one per turn for those gems. Look, looks like I'm going to actually get optics so no hammers let's do this instead or um, this actually I should have grown those towns before I didn't realize he wasn't working them uh -huh. yeah this guy's doing the best thing he can do <laughs> Melina was captured by India, which makes perfect sense. I could starve this city to get more Marinese revolts here, that's pretty good. Okay, so if we remove this, I will do this. We get one guy in four turns, but we're getting in Kumbisale first. I'm fine about that. One doesn't Optics. discover new lands without losing sight of the shore. Uh, I don't know. Guilds, I guess, is the cheapest one. So... Set the end. Okay. Just one gold per turn, huh? Okay, fine. Better than nothing, I guess. Okay, how many turns? 42 in Kumbi Saleh. Let's do this. Can look to spending one. In five turns. 72%. Thank you. You're so nice. You can get more of what you want with a kind word and a gun than you can with just a kind word. They still don't have money to pay for my gems. <laughs> Saladin my peace with Hattie. But he's still at war with India. These guys love me a lot, which makes sense. The city is 63, the city is 64. Alright, Timbuktu is getting a great guy in a few turns. How many turns? 
35 to victory the end okay. so I'm going to use two great artists in the end so no great artists in the capital um, just two in the second city with cottages and obviously all of the other ones in the great people farm that's usually how it works one two maybe three great artists here but no more than that ideally no more than two if you have enough cottages and two religious buildings like i have now the hindu mandir and the jewish synagogue so yeah that's how it works so i'm surprised i didn't think i was going to win this game as you can see gandhi's already getting there but more than 100 turns for pataliputra and i'm 24 turns away in the end oh wait the end is still the third one oh, that's unexpected Okay, Comisale is getting a great artist. Uh, I think I can I can starve these guys. I can lose one population to get a great artist a little bit faster. Uh, Team Book 2 does not need to do that. Let's get production commerce. To get more culture. It's still going to be the first one, right? Team Book 2, 17 turns. Yeah, that's fine. Wait, 17. And if I do this, I get there in 16. Well, that's better than before. And I'm already started. Okay. And I never had to put this down because I didn't, I wasn't losing any money. Because basically I'm, I have very few units and they're all in my cities. So I'm not losing any money for maintenance or any stuff like that. Uh, okay, two gold per turn. That's good. Give it to me. I don't need your hit singles. My people are very happy with all of their culture. Okay, so 18 turns for the end, that's the loser right now, but it's going to be the first one probably because of this guy. Kumbi Sale. Okay, let's do something here. Yeah, let's do that. Twelve turns. Probably it's going to be more than that, yeah, 13. Because I lost the population, so I'm stagnant, 13 turns, and I'm going to win in 17, no, in 15, because he already has a guy. Yeah, so I used three great artists in the end, and a few more here in Kumbisale. Um, Kumbisale, 15 turns, so that's 15 turns is the limit, but it's going to be 13. Because that's when the great artist is coming. Uh, Rome is not plotting against me. I'm fine with that. Thank you, mate. I got chemistry for free. And yes, install the government. Chemistry means the difference between poverty and starvation and the abundant um, life. I'm losing money now, but that's fine. I'm going to disband one of these guys. And... Uh, yeah, this one as well. Screw him. So I don't lose so much money. And winning in 14 turns, which will actually be 12. Cool. And Rome is not going to attack me in the end. So it was risky at the beginning. But you look at this. Plus 4 from the faith. Trade relations, plus 3. Open borders, plus 2. Share technological discoveries. They appreciate the years we supply with resources. We got plus two from that. So, yeah, congratulations, Gandhi, for the Apostolic Palace victory. But that's not going to be useful for you in any way. Um, no, actually, no. Yeah, that's better. 
Okay, so that was interesting. She didn't have chemistry. I did not expect that. I didn't even check. Um, okay. I have two cows and two clams, which this guy doesn't have, but he doesn't have any money either. So, it's not helping me. So, situation. Gandhi is 45 turns away. I know. Hati is 45 turns away. She's above Gandhi now, but I'm less than 10 turns away from victory. So that's fine. 1665 AD. Okay. Oh, that's a shame. I'm losing one health now. Let me cake. Enrico Dandolo has born. Yeah, he's a leader of Venetia in the Civilization V game. This city apparently is not going to turn to me on time. That's a real shame. So... Ship. I don't have any ship, but I can give this to Gandhi, so... Nothing. City I will grow, good for them. I don't care about that city. Everything is fine, right? Yeah, one turn, six, blah blah. Okay, so Egypt is not doing so well in culture anymore. I guess I have to put the slider down. And I'm definitely going to win. As I, I Hati usually no. She usually is a good um culture player. She's usually second in these games if you win. And uh, if you don't hurry, she could win in like 1720 or something like that, especially if she gets um, the Sistine Chapel. So you need to be careful about that. Okay. Marines Revolt here. That usually happens when you win a cultural victory, you get one or two cities um, from your neighbors. Okay, let's get some food. Okay, so Kumbisale is the only one missing. And we have three turns to win, which is going to be two. Very well, carry on. I have created an aqueduct here, that's fine. We're going to get wealth because we're winning this turn. So I got one <laughs> turn ahead thanks to this guy. Good for him. Uh, yeah, that's it. So we are legendary, excellent. And now I will make a quick save of the game. And um, so why, why did I win this game? Well, Rome didn't attack me. So getting the same religion as Rome was key. It was a good thing that Egypt also had the religion because India and Arabia are too far away from me. So they were never a danger. Um, so yeah, try to, if you, are lucky enough to be in a, in a sort of peninsula, like in a corner of the Pangea map, uh, then you will only have one neighbor so you can get the religion and that's good enough. That's one good thing for this game. Uh, and the main thing was that I had a lot of food, as you can see, a lot of seafood, which isn't great, as you have seen from the barbarian galley that destroyed four fishing boats here and really delayed me. Uh, that was a pain. Actually, this date is not very good for a duty victory. Uh, by the way, I'm not I'm not an expert player. Uh, I just won Didi a couple of times, so uh, good enough for me. Uh, ideally, you want to win before 1700. Uh, but anyway, still, it was a lot of food, and we had food in the land here, cows and this. And, uh, yeah, so I could get a good, great people farm, plus two cities with cottages. The capital didn't have a lot of cottages. Well, this is a lot of green cottages. I had to cottage the plains, which isn't good. 
Uh, but we had commerce resource from the dice here, so that's uh, acceptable. That compensates for the lack of cottages. Um, yeah, and and with two food resources, you can afford uh, this one plain cottage. You can see this this plain this cottage in the plain here grew a lot, so that was pretty good. This is a town already. Yeah. So. Yeah, then the fourth city is there only to do a couple of temples. But in this case, I got a very decent fourth city, which is uh, unusual. So it could do, you know, some units and help rebuilding this stuff. That was good. Uh, I have a couple of warriors here, a couple of one warrior here. So as you can see, you're never going to build or upgrade your units. Your army is going to be always the worst one in the game. And uh, yeah, I didn't get the second city in the end. That's a shame. And uh, the key is the Sistine Chapel, that's that's the only one that you really need. But if you do get the Parthenon, that's going to make things easier for you. So, you know, if you have a chance, try to get it. And those are the only two wonders that you want. Every other wonder, if you try to build them, is going to be for fail gold only. And marble is the most important resource in the game. In this map, I didn't have it in my land. But I got lucky because Caesar had two of them and he traded one to me. So I got the marble for the Sistine Chapel and for the Parthenon and for the Hindu Mandirs. So that was good. The only resource I didn't have was stone for the Jewish synagogue, but that's fine. Then copper is always good if you can get it for the Buddhist stupa. In this case I didn't have Buddhism, so I didn't, I didn't care about copper anyway. And, uh, and and that's it. So this is uh, more or less the type of map that you need. As you can see, the, the victory itself is not so hard. Uh, although, you know, if you can be first to liberalism, if you play your game a little bit better and you get first to liberalism, you will win faster than this state. Um, but the game itself is not so hard. The hardest part is to get a good map because a lot of times Diri will give you a map that, that requires an early rush and if you want to play a peaceful game, of course, you need you need four cities in a peaceful way. As I got here, four nice cities. Well, three good cities and one more just for the temples. One more crap city or <laughs> rubbish city. Um, uh, but you have to get them all in a peaceful way if you want to win a peaceful cultural victory on the difficulty. So that's it. We click next turn and we win the game right now. India is still at war with Saladin, yeah, whatever, and that's it, I have won a uh, cultural victory, we get the animation for the cultural victory, but I guess you have already seen it, so let's skip this, uh, if you want to take a look at the map, so, yeah, so these three guys were on this side, there was like a lake and some mountains here separating them from Caesar and me, and because I wasn't going to expand much, because I was playing a peaceful game, Caesar had a lot of land up here in the north. You see, normally I would have tried to get this north, or maybe build an army and go against Caesar. But uh, because I didn't want this part, Caesar just got it all for himself, and that's how he got so many cities. Because I wasn't really an, an, an expansive enemy. Uh, so Hattie got here, um, like a barrier between Gandhi and Saladin and me which makes things very easy the moment she got the same religion as Caesar, because that, that way I could just get their religion and be happy. And oh look, Gandhi got, got an island here, I didn't know about that. Saladin declared war on Gandhi on 1160 AD, that's a little bit too late. It would have been better if the war had been earlier. Maybe then Hattie would have got involved in that war as well as she eventually did. But if she had done it before, uh, maybe that would have delayed her a little bit, and maybe I would have been first to liberalism, and I would have won before 1710 AD. But still, 2 hours 21 minutes for, uh, for a DD victory on Civilization 4 is quite good, so I'm quite happy about that. Um, that's it, so obviously I have the three best cities in the world. And, oh no, Rome. Rome has a lot of culture as well, apparently. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, Kumbi Saleh is here, and Timbuktu and the end are here as well. And uh, yeah, so Caesar and Gandhi were won the Horin quite a lot. 
And Saladin built a nice amount of wonders as well. Actually, Hati got, she didn't get many wonders, considering how she usually plays. That was interesting. And I got the only two ones that I really need for a cultural victory. So that's fine. Demographics, obviously, I'm not doing good in anything. Um, yeah. And that's it. And if you look for kill units, I killed a total of four archers and one galley. So those were the barbarians that I killed, and that was it. I lost a couple of galleys, as we know, <laughs> which I'm not happy about. But uh, I built very few units. The second unit I built the most was Great Artists. I got ten of them. So three in the end, and the other seven in Kumbisale. None of them in the capital, of course. Um, yeah, a few warriors, and that's it, really. So, cool. That was it. That was a cultural victory. 33,000 score for a Diddy victory is very low, but that will always happen if you play with just a few cities. And thank you for watching, guys. Bye-bye.